Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about recurring tasks in Microsoft Project 2013. So, what is recurring task? A activity or task which is repeated on a daily basis is defined as recurring task. It can be uh, daily, weekly, monthly or yearly. For an example, you can see a meeting which is scheduled on Monday at 8 am. It can be a regular activity. Similarly, maintenance in the project can be a regular activity. How this is done in Microsoft project, we will try to understand this in our practical method. In this video, we are going to learn about recurring task. So, how to initiate recurring task? Let's understand using this simple example which is right in front of your screen. Now, I am using this example for my past 2-3 videos. So, I am continuing with the same example. Right? So, how I create a recurring task? Let's say for this project life cycle, I have a recurring task. For an example, we can take maintenance as our recurring task and I want it to be executed in this project life cycle. So, how I do this? So, I will click on any of the task, right? And under the task tab, I will move to the task button. I have this task button. I will click on this drop down box and there is something called as re recurring task. Right? So, I'll click on it. A window will appear right in front of your screen asking you few of the details. So, the very first detail it is asking you for the task name. Let me make this as maintenance as we have discussed. So, I'll type maintenance. Alright? The duration of this task would be one day. Now, it is asking me for the recurrence pattern. So, I want this task to be scheduled every week and it should be going on for next two weeks right and it has to be for every Wednesday all right so I have selected weekly I have taken this for two weeks and my day would be it should be done on every Wednesday now it is asking asking me for the range of recurrence right it is asking for range of recurrence now my start date is similar to the one where my project cycle is starting so this would be my start date and let's end it on it's July so let's take let's take this as Thursday alright so I'm taking the next month date and I'm taking this as 7 right 7 6 2017 I'll hit ok now if you see there are some tasks which has been scheduled automatically and I can see it on my right hand of the screen and also on my left hand side of the screen. Let's first focus on the left hand side of the screen. So if you see it shows the task is being recurrent, uh, recurring for Monday and for Thursday. Right? It should be recurred two times. Now if you see I have some maintenance, maintenance 1, maintenance 2 and maintenance 3. Now, if you see, it has taken the dates accordingly. So, it has taken one day for each task as we have mentioned the days for completion of this chart. This task should be one day individually. Similarly, on the right hand side of my screen, it is showing me the maintenance for every week. That will be on Wednesday. Moving on, if you see under the task mode for maintenance, that is maintenance 1, 2 and maintenance 3, if you go on the task mode, these are being manually scheduled. So, I will make it auto schedule so that there is no other discrepancy along the project. Alright, so how I make it? I will select all three and I will make it auto schedule. Okay, so now these have been auto schedule. Next thing which I want to share with you guys uh, that I want maintenance to be the successor of execute. Okay, so how I do this? It's quite simple. Let me show you. So I will move to the maintenance that is the maintenance one and I will name this as the successor of execute. And how I do that? I just need to type the task ID for the same. Okay, so the task ID for execute is 13. I'll type 13 and I hit enter. Now guys, if you have noticed, it has automatically changed the dates as well for the maintenance. If you see, previously it was different. Now I can see it is Wednesday, that is 7-19-2017. It is 19th July 2017 and it is taking as one day. That is, duration of this 
particular task is one day so it is taking one day so it is start on wednesday it will end on thursday and it is the successor for execute and execute being the predecessors similarly if i want the predecessors to be as the same which we have defined it under the recurrence task so i will remove this 13 and if you see it has taken the original dates that we have defined under the recurrent task let me show you i'll go to task and recurring task so it says every week right and the duration starting from 6th ending at 7 right i hit ok and it has taken the following dates 